Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a hot minute since you've seen a new video from me. Um, so I figured that we would just sit and chat while I get ready for the day. Um, I'm just going to do a pretty simple makeup look today. But I kind of just wanted to like catch you up on life, let you know where I've been, why I've been kind of MIA. It feels so weird to be sitting in front of a camera. I like I don't even know if I remember how to do this properly. Um, so bear with me. So I'm gonna try and be really good about walking you guys through the products that I'm actually using. Um, but this is more of like a little chit chat rather than like a tutorial or anything like that. Um, I do have a video coming up. Oh my God, look at how bad my tan is. <laughs> Um, a video coming for you guys with kind of my updated makeup routine so you'll get more of a breakdown there um, but I'm just gonna do something pretty basic um, so yeah I just wanted to let you guys know before we get started because when I start talking I like get all over the place and forget to tell you what I'm using half the time so I will also link all of the products down below and I'll try and like put them somewhere around here on the screen so you guys can kind of keep up with me um so the first thing you might notice is I look a little different um so I'm just gonna get it right out of the way because I told you if I ever did this then like I wasn't gonna be shy about it um by the way I'm just taking the Tarte Clean Slate um smoothing primer um and I'm just pressing that into my t-zone um I, first of all, have lash extensions, which I think is pretty obvious. That's not anything, like, too exciting. Um, but I did get some lip filler. I finally did it. I've been wanting to do it for so freaking long. Um, and I did it. I just pulled the trigger. It did not hurt at all. I do not regret doing it at all. I think they look great, super natural. If I wouldn't have said anything, people probably wouldn't have been able to tell. Um, but yeah, I just thought that I would address that right off the bat. I don't think there's anything wrong with it at all. I don't think it's anything to be ashamed of. Um, so I'm really excited how it turned out. The lady who did mine did an amazing job. Um, but I'm not going to go into too much detail during this video. If you guys want me to do a little bit of like a and a on my experience and all the details, um, let me know. I can definitely do that. Um, my intention was to vlog the entire thing and I do have a few clips, but because of COVID and all the extra safety precautions and everything, I was not able to get enough footage for like an entire video. Um, so I can slide some of that stuff into like a Q and A if that interests you at all. Um, another thing, just right off the bat, um, I have some extensions. I don't know if you can tell, I have about 20 inches of extensions. I got the natural beaded rose, really excited. Um, again, can do a whole video on that. Um, but there's, they're becoming like super popular now and my hairdresser is finally doing them. She's great. Um, so I've been loving them. I've had them for about four or five weeks now and they are super comfortable, pretty low maintenance. I'm obsessed. Also, I've been traveling like a mad woman, so I don't know where anything is. I'm like digging through, I'm digging through this super messy like makeup bag. Oh, it's just, everything's like dirty. My brushes are filthy, so don't even yell at me. I'm gonna go in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, um, and I'm gonna mix the shade five and a little bit of the shade 7.75 just because I'm like, I don't know what's going on with my tan situation. It's kind of a mess. And I'm just gonna butt this into the skin really quickly with a brush. Like I said, my makeup routine has been pretty low maintenance since I have lash extensions again. Um, I do not spend a ton of time on my makeup, which I swore to you guys, I was never gonna do lash extensions again, but here we are. Um, I had a membership through um, it's kind of a chain and I had thought I canceled my membership the last time that I went through this experience um, back in like December I think it was um, I just had them because I was doing a lot of traveling and you know um, and <laughs> I realized that I had like eight fills on my account I think I had like eight credits that had already been paid for um, because they didn't cancel my account, they just froze it. So I've been sitting on a bunch of lash fills. 
that were already paid for. So I was like, oh my God, I have to use them. And you can't transfer them to another person or else I would because I have a friend that goes to the same place and she is a diehard lash extension gal. Yeah, so I just had to end up using them all and it actually worked out because I have been really busy lately and doing a ton of traveling like I just mentioned. So being able to just whip on like a tinted moisturizer and be done, like it's actually really nice. And I don't hate them this time around. I saw a different lash tech, which no offense to the girl that I went to last time. Um, she did a good job. She just didn't quite do what I wanted, but now I feel like we're like rocking and rolling and I actually love them because they're the style that I want and they're just, they're perfect for me at the moment. So I'm just going to use up all my lash fills I have on my account. I don't know how long I'm going to keep them. I've had them for like a month now maybe. So I've really been loving them. No, I've had them for like two months. Bye. I got them at the end of May, I think. And it's just been really nice like going to the beach and vacations and stuff. Super easy, super simple. I'm just going to take a little bit of this Path McGrath, Path, Path, Pat McGrath Lat, Pat, Pat McGrath Labs Concealer, um, and this is in the shade L5. I'm obsessed with these lately. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit in the corner of my eye and then a little bit on the outside here. You don't need a lot of this product at all. I guess I will address kind of where I've been and why I've kind of taken a break. Um, so I always told myself that I was only going to, so YouTube, this is not my primary job um so I've always kind of just done it on the side and I always promised myself that when it stopped being fun and when I started becoming like ancient anxious and stressed about it and just like felt like I had to do it whereas I get to do it then I was gonna stop I was not gonna keep doing it um there's no need to put like unnecessary pressure on myself or anything like that when this is not my sole income or like my primary day job or anything like that. Um, so I decided that I just needed to take a little break. Um, I was just not feeling particularly inspired lately and I felt a ton of pressure to film videos and get them edited and I would just feel terrible about myself if I didn't upload one week or if I had a bunch of videos scheduled and mapped out and ready to go and I just wasn't meeting those goals and those expectations that I had set for myself. Um, so rather than this being fun for me, it just became like a huge burden and I never wanted that to be the case with this because I do enjoy it so much. Um, so I did decide to just take a little step back for a little bit. Um, and I also found I just was really not doing well with social media like just the constant comparison and I think everybody goes through this and I think this is the first time it's really hit me um I am pretty quiet but I think I am pretty like self-assured and confident and I feel good about myself but like lately when I would get on Instagram or on YouTube I just be like wow I suck like I'm not as pretty I'm not as talented I'm not like I'm not as cool, I'm not, my content isn't as exciting, like, I just, I just felt terrible about myself, like, if you ever want to feel like shit or crush your self-esteem, download Instagram, download TikTok, download YouTube, any of those things, and you'll just, like, it's, it's, everybody does it, everybody plays the comparison game, there's no way you can avoid it, um, but I just went through a phase where I just felt absolutely terrible about myself, and I just, like, I was not happy with myself and I know there are certain things that I need to do like personally to kind of bring myself back um, and I'm working on that but one of the things was I got to get off social media. I got to chill for a little bit. Um, I was pretty active on Instagram still. Um, if you follow me there, I did post on my stories and stuff but I really didn't post anything like makeup related or content related. I just, I don't know, I just kind of fell out of love with it for a little bit. So I took a step back and I'm feeling much better. I'm feeling excited and inspired again and I want to do all of this stuff. Um, so I just, you know, I just needed a little bit of a break. 
Um, and there was a lot going on personally that I wanted to take care of. Um, again, if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should. I will leave my thing here. Um, why is this looking so muddy on camera? It does not look like that in person. Okay. Um, anyways, Nick and I finally did our, like, little elopement thing. And that was, like, the priority we kind of kept it a little bit of like, not a secret, but we didn't tell a ton of people. We wanted it to be really special with just our families and we were able to finally do that and it was so special, it was amazing. I don't really wanna share like a ton of details or anything like that, just because like it was such a special like personal experience. Um, but I have had a few questions about it and like what we did, where we went, all that stuff. Um, so I might, might do a video about it. I don't know how interested people are in that, um, but I kind of just want to keep that personal. Um, we had like a little ceremony with our family um, in Asheville, North Carolina, which we currently live in North Carolina for right now, and it just took such a load off. It was so nice ha not having to do like a huge like wedding wedding thing, just being able to spend time with family and really connect and it just like was much needed after all of this COVID stuff. Like I haven't seen my family in so long. Nick hasn't seen his family since he got back from his deployment. And it's just, it was just so refreshing to just take some time to focus on each other and spend time with family. It was just, it was magical. I have been on a little bit of like a makeup bender. Um, I blacked out and bought a bunch of makeup that I didn't need. Um, I literally have bins and boxes sitting next to me of just product to try. So just a heads up, there's going to be a ton of like foundation wear tests and a whole bunch of first impressions videos and like the whole nine. And I'm just, I'm really, really excited about it. I cannot wait. Um, to just sit and play and just get back in my element, you know, it's been a long time This just not that it wasn't a priority for me, but it just kind of Didn't make me happy anymore and Like I just said I always said I always told myself if it didn't make me happy anymore Then I wasn't gonna do it. I'm not the type of person that can like Just power through like if I don't want to do something or if I don't like something like you'll know for sure um, I'm very transparent about stuff like that, um, and I'm a big believer that life is too short. So, also I just realized I haven't been telling you anything I'm doing. I just cream contoured a little bit, and then I just went in with this NARS uh, Torrid Liquid Blush. Um, and I'm just gonna set my face really quick with the Charlotte Tilbury. I need another one of these. Um, the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, um, and this is in the shade 1. Um, I'm just gonna quickly set everything down. I know it looks a little bit scary right now, but it'll all blend. These have been kind of my go-to products lately. I haven't been doing like a ton of playing with makeup. Like I said, I have a ton of makeup to play with. I just haven't had the chance to do it yet. Um, I'm gonna take this Kosas, um, bronzer in the shade medium golden bronze. This is what it looks like. This is my favorite bronzer at the moment. Um, and I'm just going to kind of set that cream contour. Now I'm just going to take this Clinique Cheek Pop in 01 Ginger. Um, it's, oh, it's so freaking pretty. And I'm using that on the same brush. Another thing that I'm really excited about is to start kind of freelancing again. Um, I did take a step back from that as well with COVID. I just needed to kind of figure out like what the heck I was going to do because it's so hard to like have a business and like I don't know if people want to get their makeup done right now, like with all the craziness going on. And then I also needed to come up with my safety precautions and all that kind of stuff. Um, people rescheduling and how I was going to handle deposits and just, it was like a mess. It was a mess. I'm going to take this Nude Sticks um, Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in Nudity and I'm just going to kind of like draw this really messily on my eyelids it's so pretty this is actually what I wore for the wedding let me know if you guys are also interested in a bridal look I said I was gonna do that but then with everything happening having to cancel twice so let me just give you the little story because some of you might be a little bit confused if you're new here um I got engaged two and a half years ago 
and we got legally married because my husband is in the army um, so logistically and all that stuff it just made things a lot easier we didn't really tell people at first um, we just wanted it to kind of be on the DL it wasn't like a huge secret we just didn't like market it um, and then so we had our wedding date originally set for August of 2019 so it was a, like a year and a half after we got engaged we got engaged in April um, so we set the date for um, August 2019 um, then we moved here to North Carolina in February and we found out in March that Nick was going to Afghanistan um, so he deployed and he was gone for nine months. So we had to postpone our first wedding. Um, so we postponed for May of 2020, hoping, assuming that everything would work out at that point. Cause he would have been home by then well in advance. Everything was supposed to go really well. No issues, no complaints. It was going to be fine and dandy. Um, come to find out the world is having a pandemic currently um, it's fine everything's fine um, so we had to cancel that wedding as well um, and we had a serious sit-down talk and I addressed this in my like COVID makeup routine video um, we just decided that like I'm not planning a huge wedding three times like there's no way also it got expensive to move it and all this stuff um so we just decided to flat out cancel um and then we kind of had the bright idea that we were like oh what if we did like a little like intimate elopement thing with our family um so that's what we did in July um so if you're a COVID bride or a victim of a deployment I, again, sympathize with you so much. My heart really goes out to you. I know how it feels. I have been subject to both. It sucks. But you know what? We made it through. It's okay. Everything's going to be fine. Um, and it actually went better than I could have ever imagined. I kind of wish we did this in the beginning. Um, but that's just me. My biggest advice would be, like, if you want that big wedding and you had to postpone it, it's fine. The people that matter will still be there in the end. So if you really want that wedding, postpone it. Don't cancel because you feel like you have to or like you can still do it. And if you're really in love with that person and that's the person for you, then a year from now, they'll still be there and they'll still want to marry you. So that's, I guess, just my biggest advice with that is just do what you want people have asked me so many times on instagram because they like follow our story and stuff they're like oh my god how do you do it and i'm like you just do it you know you just you just have to um i'm taking my mac extended play giga black lash mascara and i'm just gonna do a tiny bit on the bottom because obviously i have lash extensions i'm not gonna put it on my top lashes um and i set that nude sticks thing with this um little palette i made this is like my travel palette um it's all my not all my but a bunch of my favorite natasha denona shadows if you don't know they're magnetic so i just popped them out into a little z palette um and this is what i took to Asheville with me for my bridal makeup it's like the perfect tone so i love it so much um and then i've also been really loving these dior backstage eye palettes this one is in the shade 001 warm neutrals so those are the two eyeshadow palettes I just use. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I'm gonna do soap brows. Um, I don't know if you can tell, I did get my brows laminated like a month ago and it was really great at first, but I just feel like you can't even tell anymore. It did not last long at me on me at all. They need to be tinted again. They're kind of a mess. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of speed through this part. Um, but what I'm basically using is my soap brows. And then I'm going in, this isn't the right shade. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Brow Blade in Neutral Nana. So these are my two go-to products at the moment. So see you in a second. Alrighty, brows are on. What a huge difference that makes. I've just really been loving like fluffy, full brows. I haven't tweezed them in so long. I've kind of just been letting them go. Um, I'm just brushing out my lashes quickly. Oh, I need to fill so bad. It's been like 
three weeks since my last fill. So now I'm going to highlight and I've actually been loving a cream highlight. Oh, this one is in sad, sad shape, but I love it so much. The color is so beautiful. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick in Champagne Flash. It's oh, so pretty. And I actually really like this Hourglass concealer brush with it. I like this because it's not a greasy highlight at all. It's very much like a powdery cream, if that makes sense. It's not like oily or, and I never see it move. I think it lasts a really long time. I'm just a big old fan of this one. To top it all off, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist. I'm still trying to decide if I like this or not. I don't really know, honestly. Um, it kind of, I don't know. It smells good, but it can leave like weird white dots on your face. And I find that it also sometimes gets stuck in my lashes and makes them like gray. They're not as black. They look kind of like powder. I don't know. It's just, it's kind of bizarre. So it's like a hit or miss for me. Some days it works really well for me and then other days not so much. All right, so for lips, I don't really know what I want to do. I have these two KKW lipsticks that I just love so very much. Uh, I'm going to use this one, Nude 3. I think is the one that I'm gonna go for. And I'm gonna use this lip liner. Um, this is in the shade Nude 2. And this is a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be, but. If you have made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate you bearing with me, hanging in there and just following along on the journey. I'm excited. I hope to have a bunch of new videos up for you guys. As always, if you have any requests, let me know and I will see you in my next video.